Here we are, guys. Just got through fire in the Arsenal SLR 107 UR. Out in the rain, of course. We just broke her in. Now, guys, everybody's been hitting me for this one. The original video I made of this, how the secret, the Russian secret to loading your SKS. We just rolled 1.5 million views. And here we are. I figured. What's the, we got to mark the occasion. We got to get this one on video. This, uh, this one, I don't think this was the one I had in the video. I had the Norinko in the video, but we got the old school vintage 1963 SKS Top 56. This is not a Norinko. This is a Sino Albanian. Sino Albanian is what they call these. This one has probably seen action in the Balkan conflicts. Beautiful rifle. Uh, this is a, uh, what is this? Oh, TGI. This is a, sorry. This is a, this is a TGI uh, import here. Now, they're kind of infamous. They got uh, popped in 2014 for supposedly uh, bringing in some full auto AK got shut down, allegedly. Uh, but they got shut down. This is the rifles they imported right here. This is a batch, supposedly from the Balkan conflicts. Probably a battlefield pickup, maybe. The guy I got it from sanded on the stock a little bit. Beautiful rifle. Um, we're going to fire. So we got ammo's pricey right now, guys. So we got a little bit of full FMJ, and we got some holler points. So we'll see what it fires hollow points. It's not an SKS if it don't fall out, fall, fire hollow points. So, there we go, guys. I've never tried this rifle. I've tried it. Way back. Here we go, guys. As I said, the Russian secret to loading your rifle here. Technically, you're supposed to use this. Oh, yeah. You guys ready? I am. We're on the pistol range. We got other people over on the rifle range. So we're doing videos. So we're shooting kind of short, but it'll be all right. It's content for you guys. Pop her down on fire. So here we go, guys. First shots. You're witnessing them. Felt great. So Russian ammo. It wouldn't matter, guys, if we were on the long range because I can't see with my glasses. They're fogged up. So we're going to throw some holler points in her. Now you know what happens if you put hollow points. Got to put the deer sticker out here. Official hillbilly deer rifle. Many of folks in Tennessee use uh, SKS, the deer hunting rifle. What am I doing with my glasses? Oh, right here. Sorry. Guys, it's hot out here. It's pouring rain. I'm soaking wet. Here we go. Got the big sticker on there. Think about that big sticker being on there. Let me do one more clip for you. This is a, a real clip. Shout out to Charlie's Custom Clones for the shooting block here. They took care of a brother. Go check them out. Oh. Might help there, huh? centerfire rifle I ever shot was a SKS back in the day, way back in the day. 
and the teller also had, this is early 90s now, these things were like 80 bucks a pop. They had one with a welded firing pin, <laughs> so you know what happens there. <laughs> I've seen them cut down a tree with it. <laughs> Not the one I fired though. Malfunction. Malfunction junction. Failure to feed. You guys witness it. There we go, guys. That is the SKS. Got 56 vintage 1963. Sinobanian. Beautiful. Now this is I did what well, I forgot to mention guys. This one um was a very early one. So the Russians, this is just a, almost a copy of a Russian SKS. It's got the long lug. You got your blade bayonet, and it's, it's very close to a uh, Russian SKS. The, the Russians there were they're helping the Chinese uh, right there in the late 50s. I think they left in around 58 and 59 from helping the Chinese and Chinese took it over completely. And this is what we have. This is probably, uh, one of the ghost numbered ones, uh, Sino Soviet as they call. Those were, early. Those were around 1959 and 60. This is a close one and I love it. Great shooter as I knew it would be. So anyways, guys, thank you guys for tuning in. Hanging out with us at the range here. Catch you on the next one, guys. Hey, Billy. Over and out of here, guys. Peace.